as usual we will start with meditation uh, we try to meditate on uh, feelings or sensations if not we can see uh, vedana anupassana uh, so in mindfulness meditation uh, meditation on feelings uh plays a very important part and uh, as buddhist also understanding about feelings or sensations and importance of sensations uh practicing meditation on sensations also uh good to understand uh when we uh uh look at uh, uh teachings of the buddha uh we know uh in his first sermon the buddha taught four noble truths uh in four noble truths he talk about at first he talk about dukkha um uh, unsatisfactoriness dukkha or unsatisfactoriness or discomfort which covers our life uh throughout our life we have some discomfort it doesn't mean we do not have comfort we have some comfort but that comfort also come under dukkha ha huh? dukkha means actually changing anything when anything is changing the buddha used the word for that dukkha so although we have a lot of happiness in our life the buddha's word for that happiness also actually dukkha because that happiness is also changing um so uh the buddha started about talking of this uh discomfort or dukkha but uh, more importantly he mentioned about the cause of dukkha uh, we experience unhappiness discomfort uh, absence of happiness as a result of uh, attachment the cause as the cause of dukkha discomfort the buddha mentioned about uh attachment uh cause of dukkha or unhappiness is attachment uh i wanted to mention this because uh this attachment uh we experience the attachment or we get dukkha or discomfort as a result of attachment uh attachment comes to us as a result of sensations vedana or feelings uh uh in paricca samuppada buddha was mentioned uh uh vedana pachya tanha i am not going to talk one by one about uh, dependent origination or um dependent origination in dependent origination uh when we see carefully we can see vedana pachya tanha uh 
Vedana is sensations. As a result of Vedana, oh, uh, sensations, tanha, oh, attachment come. So our main problem, uh, our main problem is attachment. Based on first sermon, attachment is the cause of uh, suffering, main reason of our suffering or discomfort or unsatisfactoriness. It comes as a result of Vedana or sensations. So, if we can deal with our sensations with mindfulness, with some wisdom, with some understanding, uh, we can control attachment, we can overcome attachment. The problem with us is when we are experiencing sensations, uh, when we have uh, sensations, uh, we uh, do not know how to uh, see them correctly, how to deal with them correctly. Uh, when we have present sensations, naturally we attach with our knowledge or without our knowledge, uh, we attach to present sensations. Uh, when we have unpleasant sensations, uh, it is not detached. We become, uh, <coughs> we develop some kind of aversion, unhappiness. Uh, so, uh, sensations cause or sensations are the cause of our attachment. The Buddha said attachment is the main reason, main cause of our suffering. So how we get uh, sensations as a result of, uh, as a result of our sensations. We get attachment as a result of sensations. Uh, so present sensations very clearly bring attachment and we stick to present sensations and we want present sensations to remain with us. Uh, we don't want present sensations to change. We struggle for that. Uh, so that is where our discomfort uh, comes. That is where we experience discomfort uh, even we can use the word suffering. Uh, not because present sensations are impermanent. Uh, present sensations are impermanent. It is not the main reason for our uh, discomfort we experience due to sensations. We want them to be with us all the time we want to experience present sensations all the time, but it is something impossible. Uh, uh, present sensations are not permanent. Then, uh, what about unpleasant sensations? Uh, actually, unpleasant sensations are also linked with attachment. Uh, uh, that is the other side of attachment. We are attached to present sensations and we develop aversion to unpleasant sensations. Uh, unpleasant, when we experience objects or something which can bring unpleasant sensations, we are unhappy, we want to get rid of them as early as possible. That is where we suffer as a result of unpleasant sensations. Why, we, why do we want to 
move away from unpleasant sensations as early as possible or why we don't like unpleasant sensations because that is also a, as a result of attachment. We are attached to pleasant sensations. We don't like unpleasant sensations. We develop aversion because of unpleasant sensations and we want to be away from unpleasant sensations, uh, which is impossible also. We can be away from that, but not the way we want. We want to be away from unpleasant sensations as early as possible. On, in another way, I can say we want to stay away from unpleasant sensations. Both of these things cannot be done. Although we want to be away from unpleasant sensations, they can come. Because life is not only with pleasant sensations. Unpleasant sensations are also belong to the package of our life. Unpleasant sensations, sensations comes, that is part of our life. Then, when they come, Although we want to get rid of them as early as possible or keep them out, it is not possible. Uh, we cannot do it as we want. We cannot get rid of them immediately. Then present sensations come. We want to be with them all the time, but that's also impossible. So this is a kind of struggle. We struggle to be with pleasant sensations and struggle to be get rid of unpleasant sensations. This struggle make us uh, feel uneasy, make us feel uncomfortable. Uh, that brings, uh, in another way, can say that brings suffering. So we can see sensations are very much linked with our life and linked with happiness and discomfort of our life. So it is very important for us to know more about our feelings and how to deal with them instead of trying to grab pleasant feelings and trying to run away from unpleasant feelings, we should understand pleasant feelings and unpleasant feelings uh, and uh, must learn how to deal with them, how to, uh, when we experience them, how to uh, experience them, how to be with them, uh, instead of grabbing pleasant sensations and running away from unpleasant sensations. In order to do that, we have, we should know how to read our sensations. <clears throat> that is why in Satipatthana Sutta, the Buddha has taught about Vedana Nupassana or meditation on sensations in uh, look at, uh, to look at sensations in many aspects or many angles. Uh, so we can see practicing meditation on sensations is important. Uh, when we are practicing meditation on sensations, uh, there are certain ways uh, when, we when we use our body uh, to meditate on sensations, we can uh, watch our sensations from uh, head to the feet uh, because our body is with full of sensations, sometimes pleasant, some, sometimes unpleasant, 
Sometimes we don't see sensations, uh, maybe neutral uh, sensations, uh, so full of sensations, but uh, unless we pay some attention, uh, unless we pay a special attention, uh, we don't see. Huh? When we, because our mind occupied some other things, mind is very busy with other things, so we don't see sensations. Um, another important thing about sensations is uh, sensations, the best results, uh, best advantage we can achieve through meditation on sensations is we can reduce our attachment to self. Uh, we have a very strong at attachment towards ourselves, our body, our sensations, our ideas. Uh, in many ways we have attachment. So when we say, I my mind, myself, one of the most important part of I is sensations. So if we can get rid of attachment towards sensations and if we can deal with sensations well, our attachment towards self and actually when I use the word self, self is an uh, in a way, can say hallucination, uh, wrong belief. Uh, uh, we believe uh, there is a self, uh, there is I, uh, permanent sometimes self, permanent I. Uh, like this, we have very strong attachment. Uh, it is just a belief. So this belief gives us so much problem. Uh, because of this belief, attachment arises. Mm, we are unable to deal with attachment because of that belief. So, uh, when we practice meditation on sensations, sensations are part of uh, I or self according to our belief. But when we go into this meditation practice, meditation on sensations, we can see sensations are coming and going, coming and going, never remain permanently. Uh, pleasant sensations come and go, unpleasant sensations come and go, uh, and we have no control over them. Sensations are rising and falling, rising and falling. It can be pleasant sensations, it can be unpleasant sensations, but they are coming and going, coming and going. So, uh, in the long run of our practice, we can see uh, sensations are not permanent. They are changing. Uh, and there is no reason for us to attach to them. If sensations are coming and going or rising and falling, uh, uh, and uh, if we can't keep pleasant sensations when we want and stay away from unpleasant sensations also when we want, what is the point of having attachment towards them. Huh? They come and go, there is no control over them. We have no control over them. So, uh, we can see impermanence of sensations, uh, changing nature of impermanence. Therefore, our attachment towards sensations or attachment towards self will be weakened in that way. So, uh, meditation on sensations help us to see sensations as they really are. 
what do we mean when we say as they really are means impermanence. So when we see impermanence of, impermanence of sensations, we can come to an understanding there is no point to attach to sensations. Uh, uh, in Patiji Sampad, I mentioned earlier also, uh, Passa Pachya Vedana, when we experience something, uh, here Passa, the word I use for experience, uh, when we experience something, we get sensations. If that experience is present to us, attached, not present, we develop unhappiness. So, when we are able to see sensations are impermanent, Whatever we experience, we don't attach to them. Uh, we don't. We will not attach to them. So, uh, attachment towards self will be weakened, will be reduced uh, when we see sensations and through sensation meditation on sensations when we see impermanence of sensations. Uh, but at present we don't see it. That's why we attach to present sensations and uh, develop aversion towards unpleasant sensations. Huh? Uh, this, these are certain important things which we have to understand about sensations. When we meditate on sensations, um, one of the clearest sensation is pain. Pain comes under unpleasant sensations, especially when we sit and meditate for a long period of time. We naturally we get pain somewhere else in our body, maybe feet, maybe uh, back, maybe shoulders. Uh, hands, uh, whatever the way, we will experience some pain. So, uh, pain is a very clear sensation. Uh, in many cases, it becomes a dis disturbance, uh, hindrance, for our meditation. Meditators face this hindrance, this uh, pain as a uh, main barrier to continue with meditation. Um, we should try to overcome this. Uh, there are many ways to overcome this problem. Huh? Uh, when pain comes, if we are unhappy and develop aversion towards it and uh, think of getting rid of pain as early as possible, we cannot continue with our meditation. We cannot achieve success towards meditation. So uh, we have to be tolerant with the pain. Uh, we should tolerate as long as we can. Uh, but uh, we have to be very careful not to let aversion, unhappiness or anger to arise towards that pain. Naturally, uh, meditators have this problem. Huh? When pain arises somewhere in the body, they expect pain to disappear uh, as early as possible. When it is not happening, uh, aversion or anger arises, unhappiness arises. If it is arising and going on and on, 
during the time of meditation uh, that means we are not practicing mindfulness on sensations uh, it is not uh, sati it is not right mindfulness we have pain pain is arising somewhere in the body uh, we don't take it uh, uh, as a natural thing uh, we don't think as a part of our life uh, we take it as a uh, big disturbance uh, trouble and develop aversion towards it so we try to tolerate uh, pain which is a part of uh, sensation but at the same time we are developing anger developing aversion or unpleasant thoughts towards that during that period maybe 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes half an hour we go on and on with such thoughts there is no meditation we are sitting we are paying attention towards uh, pain arising in the body somewhere else and developing unpleasant thoughts no meditation some people think I want to say this because some people think how painful also they uh, they meditate half an hour or one hour with pain means they are meditating if they are uh, unhappy or uh, unhappiness uh, aversion is arising in their mind during that period that is not meditation then what do we do when we are having pain we have to be neutral about that we should not let anger or aversion arise how strongly pain experience how strongly experience the pain also try to take it try to tolerate it and just watch the pain just watch the pain don't let anger arise don't let aversion arise don't let unhappiness arise uh, this is very difficult huh? this is very difficult that's why we need the experience huh? but uh, anyway I always used to say practicing Buddhism is not practicing self modification if it is really very very painful you can't go with it at all what do you have to do with your pain you have to get up uh, we have to be sincere at this moment I can't practice med uh, meditation in sitting posture I have so much pain I can't uh, take it so I must get up get up and do some walking meditation that is the best when you are dealing with the pain that is the best thing you can do uh, but before that you you must try to tolerate when you tolerate it uh, generally can say one day you will be able to we can't say pain will never come when you tolerate and meditate but you will be able to tolerate the pain and without bothering about the pain you will be able to practice meditation but if you give up after a while because of the pain you will never be able to tolerate pain and carry on with your meditation so everything in our life everything can be 
done with the help of our experience. Pain, when we experience pain and tolerate one day, pain is still there, but you can still meditate, go on meditation, on sensations, the pain will not disturb you. And when we meditate on sensation, sensations, uh, if pain arises, uh, we should not watch the pain thinking when it is going to stop. That is also not meditation. Huh? But it happens to many meditators. When the pain arises, meditator look at the pain thinking it will go away now. Another uh, one minute, two minutes time, five minutes time, ten minutes time, it will go away. By thinking, uh, they go on with meditation. Actually, that is not real meditation. Medita it is not mindfully watching sensations. So, when a meditator thinks in that way, he is thinking how to get rid of pain, how to get rid of pain, not about the pain. He is not thinking of the pain. Uh, he is not paying attention uh, towards the pain. He is thinking to get rid of pain immediately, as early as possible. It will disappear now, it will disappear now, disappear now. So, there is no mindfulness. Uh, so, when we watch the pain, when we experience pain, we have to watch it, but we should not watch it thinking, may it go away, or we should not meditate thinking uh, of uh, getting rid of pain as early as possible, or may it go away. Uh, we cannot have that kind of thoughts. When we have our meditation on sensations, is away from meditation on sensations. We have to meditate on sensations, purely paying attention towards that, how to get rid of, or thinking of disappearing uh, pain as early as possible, is not the meditation. Uh, so, uh, it is not easy to meditate on <coughs> sensations, but generally, uh, most of the time we are quite uh, fortunate just because of our sitting meditation. Uh, most of the time we don't experience so much pain, tolerable pain, so uh, we can watch pain and we can see uh, changes of pain, sometimes increase, sometimes decrease. Uh, the, by watching this, we can see. Part of I, we think sensations as part of I, that is an hallucination, yet it is not part of I, it is changing, 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 impermanent. That part of I is changing, not permanent, so cannot take as the part of I. We can come to that understanding naturally. So, that is all about pain. In Swan, have you experienced so much pain? You are a meditator for long, long period of time. Huh? Huh? Hmm.
overcome dukkha. Um, yeah. And we can overcome dukkha by realizing that we are Even if we overcome dukkha is there. Uh, I, I have to be very careful when I want to say this. You see, the Buddha has totally overcome dukkha. Uh, he did not, uh, in a way, can say he, wo he did not suffer uh, with this dukkha as the Buddha, mentally, only mentally. But when we see his, although he has overcome dukkha, attained enlightenment, until he passed away, uh, sicknesses, he experienced some sicknesses. Sometimes his health was not so good. Uh, so, uh, actually, Sometimes when he was delivering long sermons, he get a back pain. Uh, so, the Buddha had called Venerable Sariputta and asked him to take over. He went and had a rest. Uh, he experienced pain. Because uh, his mental purity was highest, the attained enlightenment. The, but body, uh, body experience dukkha, body is impermanent. So he experienced uh, some health problems, old age, in the end death. Uh, this, all these things are also part of dukkha. Mm. Uh, but mentally, psychologically, he never uh, suffered. Uh, uh, because of this physical uh, aspect of dukkha. Mm. Uh, there are two, mental aspect and physical aspect. Physical aspect, by attaining enlightenment, we can overcome. We can stop dukkha totally by attaining enlightenment in physical aspect. But still we are carrying our body. That body cannot attain enlightenment. Huh? <laughs> uh, so we meditate for a while. Huh? 15 minutes or 10 minutes sensations. 